So we are going to be talking through this microphone. Now, this is the Muano Professional AUPM401 Review. If you are one of those individuals that wants great vocals and wants to almost sound more professional, then I would strongly recommend getting yourself a podcaster or YouTuber microphone. We are also going to be looking at this one. This is the 421. We also have the Fairy. And we also got another one for one of my interns. This is a desktop USB microphone set, AU042C. The mic itself is connected to the USB cable, which is a huge thing because you don't need a mixer and a converter from XLR. The model number for this is the AUPM401. We're going to go and see what the audio sounds like, go through all the specifications and see if this mic and the mounting boom arm is something that you may want to get. Now there is no drivers and it just automatically installs itself and right away it turned on. Um, there's an audio thing so you can plug it in the headphones. Uh, also, if you press this, you mute it instantly. Okay. Stay tuned for the whole video. All right, guys. So this is the Mono Monitorable Podcast USB Microphone Kit. So this is a professional USB microphone. The huge deal with this brand is that you do not require an XLR connection to connect these cardio microphones to your computer. If you guys watched the previous videos, all of the other ones that we've done had the XLR connection. So you have to plug it in at the bottom of the con microphone, then that had to go into a mixer board, and then you have to carry that signal back into your computer via USB. This company solved all that. So you get the professional grade mics with easy connectivity and plug and play with no installation drivers. So the microphone core is a 16 millimeter condenser. So it's a cardioid microphone. The frequency response on this is 20 Hertz to 20 Hertz. The sensitivity on this mic is minus 13.2 uh, to plus minus three decibels. The maximum SPL is 120 decibels and the sound to noise ratio is 70 decibels. You get the boom arm with two axis swivel mount for accurate positioning, built-in analog digital converter. Again, this is what I was saying that you don't need a mixer board and it's compatible with Windows and Mac OS. There's a built-in mute button so you can really easily cut the input and it's got a built-in 3.5 millimeter TRS audio jack so you can basically hear other people talking to you. And it's got zero latency monitor function. Now we have already reviewed the AUPM421, which is the one kit above this. Uh, the specs and the price difference is kind of there, meaning that you just have just a little better uh, sensitivity on and the SNL ratio. But besides that, everything is almost identical. So if I was telling you uh, or recommending a mic, I would maybe almost say, you know, go for the AUPM421. But again, it's really up to you to make a determination on your own. So this is your pop filter. Um, there's a pretty heavy gauge cable, so this is never gonna really fall. Like this doesn't bend. Once you set it into place, it's gonna remain. This is how you connect it to the boom arm. This is your spit cover, that's what I call it. I like that it's not styrofoam. And then this is the kit. So first we're gonna take a look at the mic. You basically have a haptic button to mute the microphone as you're speaking. This is where you connect your headphones. We're gonna set that aside. And we are gonna compare this microphone to the other one, just so you guys know, and now uh, maybe another video or later on, just towards the end of the video. So make sure you stick around. This is your cable. It's pretty lengthy, so it will definitely um, work if you have a workstation and you need to convert, uh, connect it. So this goes into your mic at the very bottom here, and then this connects to your computer, and it basically just gonna register as this microphone in your system. But you don't have to have a CD or any of that to install it. And now we get to the mount. So this is a desk mounting system. It's two and a half inches, and it's gonna easily go over this, so we are gonna mount this. Next, we get the shock mount arm, and there's your cable zip tie, and then we get our shock mount. That slides in like that. Now you can adjust this, as you can see, you can swivel this way. Then this arm will essentially open up. You rotate this, and then this whole part is gonna come down. Next, attach the shock mount to the arm, and then we're gonna tighten this. Then you take your microphone, and there is a little a ridge here that's going to clip on there so it's not going to fall out easily okay now you definitely don't want to make sure you have it upside down because it will fall out so you kind of want to have it upright this way all right now we take our cable and then we plug it in underneath now we connect this to your laptop or your workstation okay. and then the final thing is you take your pop filter and if you want to put this shield on you can you can take your cable tie and you can also connect it here like so, just remember only go through one, so this opens up. Then take your pop filter and same thing. We take this and then you can attach it 
basically over a cable and then just bring this down and tighten it down all right so let's turn this mic on and let's see how it sounds hey everybody this is the mono professional au pm401 review all right guys so we are going to be talking through this microphone now and we are going to be covering some things we are also going to be looking at this one this is the four 21 we also have the fairy again usb microphone and we also got another one for one of my interns this is a desktop usb microphone set au042c if you are one of those individuals that wants great vocals and wants to almost sound more professional then i would strongly recommend getting yourself a podcaster or youtuber microphone which these are these also come with a really nice very easy to use boom arm on the two axis so you can tweak it and position it anywhere you want uh, you also get a pop filter with every microphone actually all of them i think except for the fairy and uh there are usb connectivity meaning that you simply plug it in to your computer mac desktop even a phone if you have an adapter and it's plug and play drivers there's nothing to install you simply plug and play these are again cardioid microphones meaning that if i go behind it's not going to work this particular one does not have a gain knob but it does have a trs headphone input so i can put that in and listen to maybe somebody on the other channel or some music this one though this one does have a gain knob i'm just going to show it to you guys right over here so you can adjust the volume on the fly as you're speaking maybe if you don't want to do any post-production that that's something you want to consider so that is it um i hope this has been helpful and uh yeah again strongly recommended if you guys want to a up your game on your videos you know a phone is amazing um but if you want to step it up a little bit even if you don't want podcasting if you're doing maybe narration or dictation or overlays you may want to consider something. They're not expensive either. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.